Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. I have a really strange product that is from a more luxury brand. It's actually priced pretty well. This is $30 and it is a liner. Now it's not just one liner, it's actually an all-in-one pen, which might like make you take a, a moment and reflect upon your childhood. I know I had one of these in my backpack going to school that I cherished. And I don't know why anyone has not come out with a product like this. I kind of wish like, why didn't I come out with a product like this? This is really genius. And it makes so much sense. So we're gonna see if this works out or not. I actually have never in my life tried any liners from Clarins. So this is gonna be kind of a first try at their makeup. I have loved their skincare in the past, but I've never really tried any of their color products. So this is the four color all-in-one pen for eyes and lips. You get three colors that would be appropriate as eyeliner. One of them is a brown shade that they do say you can use in your brows. And then you get a beautiful pink shade that is going to be a lip liner. Now this is really cool because you could throw it in your purse. You could do some touching up. You have your lip liner and you have your eyeliner, which those are two things that I always wanna to touch up when I'm on the go. But then it is kind of a pain to like be rifling through your makeup bag and looking for like the little liners. So I kind of like that this is a little bit bulky. It has everything contained in one barrel and I'm excited by the design. I am hoping the product itself works out, but we're going to try it out together. 30 bucks, four liners, and ready, set, come a little closer. It has the tiniest little tip ever. Like, look at this. How precise is that line? And it's automatic, so you just like twist it up as you go, like on each color. Yeah, let's just go in and see what happens. That kind of feels like your basic everyday, like nudie pink lip liner that would work with anything. So good color selection. Dude, that's like perfect for outlining your lips just a little bit and no one will know. All right, so I'm having kind of an issue that this is actually a little bit weird to hold on to with how precise the tip is. It's a little tough. So that's a basic nice lip liner. There's nothing about it that's making me go, oh my God, everyone run out and purchase this right now. What I'm liking is the fact that this is like a loaded barrel of so many different colors. Oh my gosh, do you hear my ankle like snapping every video that I've been doing recently? I don't know why, but since I started working out, which if you follow me on Snap, you know that I've been like in the gym, really focused on lifting weights and everything, but my ankle like snaps whenever I'm doing my makeup. It's the weirdest thing, it's driving me kind of insane. Okay. Mm. These from Tarte have been the favorite lipsticks of my life right now. I can't get enough of them. So I'm gonna flip the switch to this blank. You just twist it on up and I'm going to align my eyes. Do you hear the snap again? What is that? It's looking a little patchy, but it's looking not totally terrible. The thing with this liner, it's a lot rougher than the lip liner. So it's just like, it's a very hard black liner, which means it could wear really nicely without smudging. We're gonna see that um, in action because I'm gonna do check-ins today, but let's try and fix this. It's a little more. It is just tugging a little bit. So that might be an issue for some of you. Maybe it doesn't bother you. Um, it looks nice. I mean, it's very rich in pigment. So who else thought that the Bachelor finale, like the after the final rose, was the most cringy thing you've ever watched in your life? Because I know I did. I literally put a blanket over my entire body and started screaming. That's kind of how dramatic I am when I watch shows. Like, <laughs> I just try to entertain whoever's around, but I could not even handle it. I was just like, oh my God, why is this so awkward? When The Bachelorette had like her suitors come out, I was like, stop, this is just not even happening. This is so uncomfortable. But ABC did a good job because it kind of made me feel like, but I want to see more of this train wreck. I think Rachel's going to be such an awesome Bachelorette. I think she's really cool. Some of those guys that came out on stage though, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, I have very mixed feelings on this liner. Let's see what the blue one looks like. I'm actually kind of curious to see, I don't know, should I like put it in the water line and just kind of figure it out? Ooh, what should we do? Cause girl, that is a bright blue. That is so bright blue. But I kind of think maybe it'll jazz up the whole neutral feel of my kind of monochromatic like cream top and the, you know, really neutral eye. I'm gonna go for it. I think it could be kind of like a fun pop of color. Mm. And 
just for giggles, let's try the brown one. Like I'm gonna kind of touch up my eyebrow hairs and see if this has like a weird powder texture. Actually, yes, it does. It feels like a little bit stiffer. You can actually hear it. I need some mascara, some lashes, and I will be right back. So I have my lashes on, everything else is finished up, and boy oh boy, do a pair of falsies make a huge difference. I feel like it helped this liner to look a lot better. I'm not really happy with that top line. I felt like it was dragging my eye, and I just, I don't like it when liners are not smooth, especially for the upper lash line. I mean, when things are a little bit rougher for the lip, you know, I can kind of get over that. You want things to be a little bit firmer for the eyebrow, I get it. But when it comes to that upper lid, like I just, ugh, it kind of makes me cringe when things are like dragging and kind of getting a little bit, uh, what is the word, just like choppy and, and just not smooth. I want that line to be completely smooth. So I'm looking at my upper lash line and things are not as even as I would want them to be and as even as I know I could get them with a liquid or a cream gel liner, so I'm not a fan of that. The color in the lower lash line, I actually really, really like. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a nice pop of color. It's very kind of transition into springtime kind of a makeup look. I really dig it. The lip liner is beautiful. I was able to outline my lips a little bit, but this thing is kind of so hard to hold on to that it does make it a bit of a challenge. I did oops and mess up a little bit, so it is tougher to hold on to something bigger uh, compared to you know your normal lip liners you just you have more control so this was a bit of a challenge oh, I want to like this really want to love you so I do think this is a cool idea and concept it's just kind of awkward to use hard to hold on to and the eye color itself is really dry and kind of drags a bit but I'm gonna see how this wears because I do wanna love this and I'm gonna do check-ins and we're gonna see if this smears everywhere, if it holds tight, if it stays true, if I need to touch up with it. I'm gonna take the sucker with me at every place I go today and I'm gonna do a few check-ins and we will come up with a final verdict after I put this to the test for the entire day. Okay hey guys, so this is the out and about check-in. I feel like my makeup is a disaster today for so many reasons, but A. I think you look beautiful. Thank you. No, you really. always say that no, and no, I no. love you for it. The foundation that I'm wearing is also something new. I'm test driving out. It's from Tarte. I feel like it's a little bit heavy. It's really, really full coverage, but it's like super heavy and it's kind of feeling a little bit weird on my skin. Um, and then the eyeliner has completely disappeared. And while I was shooting the inserts, like everything started snapping off. Like it, the formula is so dry that little bits of it were like snapping in half. And I'm like, dude, this is a brand new product. It hasn't been hanging out in my drawer for months and months and months. How is this already crumbling and breaking and like it got smeared on the carpet and I'm just freaking pissed off at it? I don't think I've heard you be so disappointed in a piece of makeup and- I'm really not <laughs> happy because it was a cool concept. I thought it would be like, ooh, oh wow, like doesn't this remind us all of our childhood? The thing that but, I liked about that thing was the actual pen itself. I think it was really yeah, brilliant. Yeah, cool, it's cool, right? Yeah, yeah it's a brilliant um, but idea. The, the quality of the actual product in it, bad. Who wants an updated Madness Monday? What do you think, James? You want to be my cameraman and do Madness Monday Absolutely. again? Absolutely. I kind of actually am into that. So we're walking in to find some drugstore makeup, some cheap, affordable makeup. Let's do this. All right, you guys, Physician's Formula is 40% off this week. That means that you can take a full 40% off of any of their blushes, concealers, bronzers. I would totally go for the bronzers. They're some of the best at the drugstore. And if you do happen to find a box with a coupon, you can totally stack that together. That's how you're gonna work out those better deals. Hey, I cannot believe I used to is, do this every single week. This is not Madness Monday. I know, all right? I'm gonna move along. Yeah, you- But you I could bring that back. You did that- that was like six years ago, baby. This is true. I just feel like I've seen all of this. I do want to know, what are your drugstore requests? Should I, ooh, this stuff is actually really good. I do love that. Should I do, I don't know. I've done like my best under 10, best under five, maybe best under 20 because some of this stuff is expensive. How about $20 makeup challenge? Oh, yeah, that's such a good idea. I'm gonna start digging around and doing some research for an updated $20 makeup challenge. 
I had one that I did years and years and years ago that was one of my bigger videos. I will link that below. Will you? Will you actually? No, I won't. I just say that and I forget about it. I don't know why that's my thing. Why do I always have the best intentions because and then I just never do? Oh, yeah, that's right. Ooh, look at this. You want these little guys, these Maybelline lip gel paints? No. No. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Put it down, James. We're out of here. Final verdict is in. This pen is total crap and I'm really disappointed that it did not work out better because I really wanted it to. I wanted to be able to toss something like this in my purse and have a liner and a lip liner and a fun blue liner. But the reality is when you twist the product up, you really can't twist much at all because the tip will snap right off. This has happened with three of the four colors. It hasn't happened with the lip color, but it happened with everything else. I just don't like the formula of the actual liners themselves. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it, leave me those comments below and request other weird products I should try out on camera for future WTFs. And I do hope to see you guys tomorrow. I am going to be telling you what is hot that has just launched at Sephora. I have been quietly testing things out behind the scenes and I have a bunch of new releases that I have pros and cons. Some are hits, some are misses. So come back tomorrow and check that out. I love you guys so much and I will see you then. Mwah.